since I shared my last video, Connect to SAP Datasphere with Python, uh, where we saw how to connect the SAP Datasphere within Python to consume data out of one specific view, I got a lot of questions from you and was asked if it's also possible to connect to SAP Datasphere with Python to store data within SAP Datasphere in a specific table, for example. And um, in this video, which I would like to share today, it is I will show how you can connect to SAP Datasphere, create some examples, and store those data records in a specific database table within Datasphere. And you will see how we can show them within the universal database tool dBiva. And of course, you can also use this data then to do further steps within SAP Datasphere. Let's check how this can be done and how steps needs to be done to define variables and store the data. Stay tuned. Okay, let's start with storing data in an uh, in a SAP Datasphere table. At first, we need to define the packages which are needed yeah, for this uh, command execution. You know it from a former video, um, while we try to read data from SAP Datasphere table, or in our view, we need to add the library HDB client, which can be installed via uh, pip install a hdb cli so install and we add the pandas library for data frames uh, we call because we will use them to loop over it afterwards okay let's execute if we and see if all the elements of our libraries are installed. Fine, code is, was executed. Now let's define the variables we need to define, uh, to, to execute our code. At first, we need to have the database user and the password. And of course, the host and port. All four can be found in the information within the space for, for the database user. If you go into the space, go to the section database user, then you see all the database user listed, which were created. And on the right side, you have a small icon, information icon, where you can click on and get all those information. But only the password is displayed once while use database user creation. This needs to be to stored somewhere and on a secured um, environment. And we will define a consumption schema, which is not needed for this scenario here, and an ingestion schema. This is important because we would like to save and store data within Datasphere. That means we would like to ingest data. Okay, let's execute this code, but please be aware that you need to fill in your own credentials. Okay, code is executed and the variables are set. Now we try to establish a connection. This is the same code we used in the, like in the video for reading data. We initialize and uh, establish and initialize a conne connection to the uh, HDB client with those information. That means the database host, the, the port, the user, the password, and also uh, some variables which needs to set which needs to be set and we open the cursor. Let's run the code and see if everything works fine. Now you see you get prompted the data the SAP data sphere is connected. Now we can start with creation, deletion and filling a SAP data sphere table. Therefore I prepared a, a little bit of code. And I will copy it in. Let's at first 
put in a statement with which you can drop a table. With this, ta with this statement, drop table and ingestion schema and database table, you can drop the whole table from the SAP data sphere. But then we drop the table and it, or if the command is executed successfully, the table is not existing furthermore. Let's execute it. Or um, at first, let's do another prompt. Here the user is prompted if he would like to delete the table. If he enters Y, then the command is executed. And then if the table exists, the table is dropped. But let's prompt the user if he would like to create a new, new one. I prepared the code already. That means if the ta table is dropped, the user will be prompted if you would like to recreate a table. If the user puts in Y, then we have here a statement yeah, to create a table directly in SAP Datasphere via an SQL command. Now let's, let's add here also the SQL command. Now let's try to execute it. Okay, what we did wrong. Where is it? Oh, here, we missed one bracket. Okay, let's execute again. Here the user is prompt. Do you want to delete the table? Yes, I would like to delete the table. This is a SQL command, drop table, and the drop of the table was done. And now we are in this section here. Yes, I would like to recreate it. With this SQL command, the system creates automatically a new table within this schema. Let's check it. We know it from a former video. We have the possibility to connect the SAP Datasphere to a universal database tool. In my case, I use dBeaver. Let's check if we have the table already in place. This is the, ski, the schema test test, the suggestion schema. And now here we see the table. Let's check, no data in, is there, but we have the structure available, which we, identi uh, which we defined here. Customer number, latitude, longitude. Okay, so far so good. But we have also an, an N, which user can, be, uh, can enter. Then let's put in some code. Yeah, if the if the user do not want to drop the table, it could be that he would like to delete the, the entries. Yeah, let's uh, let's put in here then an an else. Sorry, an else part. Nearly nearly the same code. The user will be prompted if he would like to delete all entries of the table. If he puts in Y, then the system tries to delete or execute the command of a deletion of all entries. We put uh, delete from table and we will print out the SQL command. Deletion, deletion is done. But if the deletion fails, it could be that the table is not existing. Then the user will be prompted if you would like to create the table. Let's clear the output and execute again. No, I do not want to delete the table. No. I would like to use this function here to delete the entries. Do you want to delete the entries? Yes, I will. Cannot be executed because the table could uh, is not there. Let's execute. The creation of a table was done. Let's check if we have the table already in place. Uh, this is done. Do double click. Here we have the table again, and 
we do not have any data. That's great so far. But what we like to do here is we would like to include data into that table, specific table. Therefore, I use some kind of uh, commands. I, will, I specify a header. I and I put in um, a variable here, which uh, which gets some values assigned. This means we have two two rows here. One, the first row identifies first customer with latitude and longitude. And additionally, a second customer with two different other values for latitude and longitude. To check what the outcome is, or if we did everything right, let's display the data frame or create a data frame based on those rows and display it. Uh, looks great. We have one customer, uh, the first row with one customer and the second customer with uh, in the second row. What we need would like to do now is let's loop over this data frame to invert those values via an, a normal SQL statement to uh, the database. Here you identify the columns, uh, the columns which are here, the customer number, latitude, longitude, the same here defining the values which I assign here. And with this command, I execute the, the uh, SQL command, the insert SQL command. But let's do also error handling here. Try the execution. And if this works fine, I will do a, uh, showing the user that everything is fine. Um, stored uh, data data stored or data record stored data rec record stored and if this will fail I will prompt the user data record stored Data record store, uh, store or failed. Let's failed. Let's execute looping over those rows and try to insert this in the database table. Okay, we loop over those records. We get two successful statements here. Let's check it within a table. Here we are. We have those records written into the SAP Data Sphere table. We can we can check it via the Beaver and database tool, but let's check it also via normal normal SQL command within Jupyter Notebook via Python. Therefore, I prepare a select statement. I prepare the SQL command to see if uh, this is right and then I execute it. Okay, seems to be okay. And now let's try to write this in, into a data frame for, for displaying it. Here we are. The headers were defined here, uh, that I have the right uh, headers in place, and I see the same rows and information like here. Okay, thank you for watching this video here um, with which we uh, established a connection to SAP Datasphere, create, delete and fill the database table while storing data in, with, via an uh, insert statement in, directly in the SAP Datasphere. From now on, you can use this data further within data sphere views share it or whatever you would like to do stay tuned uh, and subscribe my channel i will be very happy for it thank you bye